Hello there, this is Vladimir and in this video we're going to take a photo and using different techniques like mid-journey or stable diffusion to transfer ourselves into the Lego person or any other stylized character you want to do. So I will show you tips and tricks and I'll show you what and what platform allowed you to achieve the best result. So right here is a photo kind of self-portrait except it's not my real hair, it's a wig but I want to be like Bob Ross and work with the very puffy, happy clouds. So to do this, we'll just take an image and upload it on our mid-journey interface. Or to be more correct, it is a Discord interface. And right here we have it, our image. And our goal to achieve something like this, or something more plastic if we want to resemble a little bit more facial expressions. Of course, the first thing is what we usually do, we click on the portrait, right click, copy image address or in uh, apple you copy image we're going forward slash imagine paste the path for our image we have it and we just type lego style portrait just very simple first things and that's problem with this one we do it okay, when we've done this you can see what's happening here it does kind of create but it's not necessarily what i wanted it's just a bunch of cubes put it instead of hair does not look precisely as a Lego, somewhat stylized on this. And I found interesting things with the particular mid journey. First, what I want to do, it is create the image with, without putting image in to resemble what you wanted. So in this case, if we go just imagine, and for example, I'm going to just put Lego figures, plastic, Lego portrait. Let's try to do this. Notice at this time, I do not reference any image at all. After I have completed, I can check and when I know that it is string, it's what I wanted as a return, then I'm ready to combine. As usual, we're going and copy image address. Let's go ahead and paste here. And we also take this string that I know right now it's working. Copy and paste this as well. I do not add any image weight at this point. I maybe experiment a little bit later or if you want it, you can always add image weight in a round brackets, and we can say 0 0.5, 1, 1.5. So in this case, we can create three versions of this time and see which way to work better. Of course, when we prompt for this, it's ask us if we want to generate all of this. And let's go press yes. And because I mistyped right there, I put a dot instead of comma, it give me this error. So let me go ahead and try again, copy all of this right here. Okay. And we'll try again. Imagine we'll paste now image weight. Now I want to be sure it's a 0 0.5 comma. That is what I would did mistake before. One comma and 1.5, closing our brackets. This time it should work without problem. And there you go, now it's processing. Okay, render completed, let's look what we have. This is with low weight on image 0 0.5, and you can see we still kind of retain our portrait, basic characters, and it does look more like a Lego at this time. So actually this one is like quite a bit nice. Okay, this is with a little bit higher weight. Let's go with weight one. And this is definitely, I think, its favorite. Look right here, it's looking very good. I don't know what is giving me some creatures I'm holding in a hand, but it is work much more recognizable Legos. And of course, when we add more weight to the image, it's become less Legoish, more plasticky. But if you're going after this. So overall, here's a my workflow with the mid journey if i want to apply any specific stylization to the portrait i want to be sure that my style it's work first okay this is important for me to realize whatever i want to do it is produce that result and after i take image paste image in and combine with a string that i know it's working so let's do one more with different style and we'll see how it will work and of course, if you're using stable diffusion, be sure to check my another video where we're using group and other elements to create even more realistic stylizations with a stable diffusion. Okay, to follow what I was done, we're going to imagine. 
and let's just type maybe Barbie doll. I hope I can spell properly. Plastic happy pink. I think this should work just fine. And we also can do total different. For example, imagine and let's go type rug doll old born last toy that is a little bit sad one we'll do another one and right here again i'm looking it's work properly okay i cannot adjust but i think this already worked just fine same we're going at this point to our portrait copy image address let's go down all the way here and we can now imagine and paste this also i'm going to copy the prompt that i know working <laughs> you paste this prompt and of course we'll set image weight but now i know 0 0.5 or one will work best imagine and right here i did not give it space it's actually a problem sometimes when you type it Okay, there you go. Let's go try on this one. Yes. And there's our rug doll is ready. We'll do exactly the same. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to paste command that we have before. Only instead I'm copying this path right on the top. Go down below. Put it after here. Need fix it my image weight. And I think we are ready for this as well. Let's click yes. Okay, check our Barbie right now. There's our Barbie like on this. It's even have a nice beard for me. It's a bit plasticky at hair. I think it's even come closer to this. And this is, was on the one weight and this 0 0.5. So it's a little bit more closer to the prompt. Uh, it does not really resemble my portrait because it was a little bit too far pushing away. I think when it's a specific figuring male female it's work better but overall right here we can see it's save mustache save beard on this one so i think with the weight in this currently with the weight one work better but with legos 0 0.5 was work the best and here are our test for rug doll this come up a little bit better it preserves some mustache and other elements so it's kind of look nice and of course with the weight one a little bit better well, this is almost like sad Albert Einstein looking with a some doll. Of course, it just put it inside the hand tall doll. And it's because try to go closer to the image. And it's a weight less on weight. It's more on the image. But it does copying some facial hair and slightly expression. As well, try to add in a hand. And right here, where it was cloud, you remember, it was add dolls. So we can try a little bit more tweak around, but general, that is a workflow that I kind of like it for myself and I build this way. It is when you first create what you want to see after you put an image in, just a little bit less. And it's general, try to do this, have it one variable at a time. It will help you a lot. If you just focus on one problem, you solve it, and then you add next step. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Please subscribe, share this video and have a great, great time.